So you've decided to solo instead of playing with actual people? Don't worry, I got you. Here are the towers you need. Got your towers? Perfect. Now let's start. Okay, time to start. We're just gonna get five shotgunners. Then, as soon as possible, we wanna get three more to have a total of eight. They should all be in this little row here. Also, if you check the top corner, you can see the placement map. This will tell you where to put everything. Next, you wanna get all the shotgunners to level one. Next, you wanna place the level one freezer. This just allows the shotgunners to do better. Next, as soon as you can, you wanna place a minigunner in this kind of circular area. I get that it's not circular, but you know what I mean. You're also gonna to wanna to upgrade this to level one. Next, you're gonna upgrade one shotgunner level one and then prepare for a leak. These runners are really hard to kill, so you're gonna to wanna to put a few shotgunners in the back, all the ones you have left, uh, to make it so that you don't die. Upgrade some if you have to, but as long as you live, it's fine. You should be able to, but again, you'll be fine. After that, place another level one minigunner. Then place a commander. After that, get a level one freezer. Then you wanna get both mini gunners to level two. And then you wanna place another level two mini gunner. Then another level two mini gunner. Now we're gonna start setting up commander chaining. So you wanna get the commander to level two. Next, place three level zero commanders. This is just planning out the chaining and then when we get to it, I'll tell you how to chain. As soon as you're done, you also wanna get another level two mini gunner. Now upgrade the freezer to level three and get another level three freezer. Next, we're gonna work on rangers. We're gonna start by just placing two unupgraded ones. Then get them each to level one, and now we start working on commanders. You wanna get all of them to level two. So that means the three level zero ones, all of them to level two. This will allow you to chain call to arms. What that means is you'll use the action ability thing, and then when the yellow circle's gone on your towers, use it again. And then you'll just be able to cycle, and when it'll just go infinitely. It's just good, you should always be doing this. You may have also realized as I was talking, but I upgraded the freezer in the front to level three. This isn't needed, it's suggested though. And then after that, you just wanna place five level zero rangers. Next, you want to get one of the rangers to level two, and then the rest all to level one. Next, upgrade one commander to level three.
Next, I sold the shotgunners. This is kind of optional as well, but like, it's just, they're not, they're not doing anything anymore. After that, we're gonna upgrade level two ranger and then just go back to placing mini gunners. Boss time. Now start working on the rangers, you just want to max them all. If you have to, put a mini gunner in the back and just move some stuff in the front back. You'll be fine, the rangers will take care of the boss. Uh, oh, we did it! We did it! Thank you all for watching. That's it for today. Uh, subscribe would be very much appreciated. You made it to the end, and I hope this chat helps you.